Hey guys, it's your girl Kiri, and today I'm going to be sharing my normal monthly Costco slash Walmart haul, and I'm also going to be adding in a few items that I picked up in preparation of preparing for at least 30 days in case we face a quarantine due to this uh, latest pandemic. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with non-food products. And first up, I picked up two bottles of Vagisil powder, one for myself and one for my husband. And I already had a backup bottle here for my daughter. Now, I know you're probably saying, did Very Carrie just say a bottle of Vagisil for her husband? Yes, I did. Now, you know how they say secret is strong enough for a man, but made for a woman? Well, this is the same principle. This stuff right here is great for those musty balls, great for stinky feet. This stuff right here is my holy grail for everything. And you guys know I am a stickler for hygiene. And if you don't know, I'm going to leave the link to my hygiene video below. But Vagisil is one of my absolute favorite products. Next up, I picked up five boxes of toothpaste each person in the family gets one, so we're going to have four people here because my eldest daughter will be coming back since her school is closed also. So that'll last about 30 days, and then I got one backup. I don't know why there was a run on toothpaste. Toothpaste was hard to find, but you can find a ton of toothbrushes. And I'm wondering, okay, if you're using all that toothpaste, you need to switch your toothbrushes out unless you have an electronic toothbrush or something like that. So I also picked up a pack of toothbrushes. I picked up a bottle of Listerine. I normally get the Naturals one, but every place I went, they were sold out. So I thought this would have to do. And this has also been in Holy Grail of mine. I think I've been using this for almost two years now exclusively and everyone in the family uses this. So everyone gets their own bottle and a bottle of this will last a little over a month, about a month and a half per person. So I picked up four bottles of these and this is great because I have very sensitive skin as do my girls. We have eczema and we just have to find something that's nice and calming that won't irritate our skin and this does the trick. Picked up a bottle of Windex. I needed some batteries so I got a pack of AAA batteries and a package of AA batteries. I grabbed a large jug of Tide and I already have a, another large jug upstairs so this will last me for a few months. I picked up three, I'm only showing two right here, three large bottles of the distilled white vinegar. I use a ton of this stuff, especially in my laundry. I grabbed three boxes of the Ancient Mama Complete Pancake Mix and two boxes of the Krusty's Belgian Waffle Mix. My oldest daughter and I love oatmeal. I grabbed a container of oatmeal for myself and her and that would definitely last us 30 days. I picked up three bottles of syrup. Two of them are Aunt Jemima. Now do you say Aunt Jemima or Aunt Jemima? I got two bottles of those and one bottle of Mrs. Butterworth. A bottle of applesauce for Ray. Now if you like Hawaiian bread you would absolutely love Hawaiian bagels. My family loves these bagels. You can pick them up from Walmart. They only had two packages in stock, so I grabbed those two. I picked up I picked up a large package of butter. I picked up four loaves of bread. Now we go through about one loaf of bread a week. And so in order to have a month's worth, I picked up four. I'll freeze three and keep one out. You can just make a batch of corn muffins. This will go great with dinner, or you can eat the corn muffins for breakfast. And when I get to it, you'll see under there, I have a uh, case of sweet corn. I like to add sweet corn to my corn muffins. It's so good and my family loves it. Some crackers. I needed some more assorted Ziploc bags. I picked this up and then they announced that my girls will be out of school for the next few weeks but we will always use these anyhow even when next school year starts now i'm going to move on to our canned goods i picked up 10 of the chicken noodle soups i picked up 12 
of the green beans, cut green beans. And these taste great if you add like a smoked turkey leg, smoked turkey wings, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of red pepper flakes. Just so delicious. We love black beans in this family and I typically put black beans in my chili and I love black bean burgers and there are so many things that you can do with black beans. You can put them in your salsa. So we love black beans and these will definitely not go to waste. So I picked up a case of those. Along with the black beans, like I said, we love chili, so I make chili often. So I picked up several um, cans of the diced tomatoes as well. I grabbed 24 of the chunk light tuna in water, and this is great for tuna melts. I usually mix up a can of tuna fish with avocado. You can make tuna casserole. There are so many things that you can do with tuna fish, and it will last a long time. So that is something we definitely wanted to include in our 30-day um, meal prepping. Then I picked up 12 cans of the golden sweet corn. And again, we can throw this corn in salsa to thicken up or add to or make our salsa semi-homemade. I put this in our Jiffy corn muffins. Or you can just eat it as a side vegetable dish with dinner. So sweet corn was a go for us. I picked up four cans of spaghetti sauce and we have um, quite a few uh, different types of noodles, spaghetti, lasagna, and that already in stock so didn't need to get any noodles. I grabbed some salsa and we have two big jars of salsa and we go through this you know fairly quickly. We can do this with chips and dip and we do nachos and all different types of things with the salsa. A bag of brown sugar and I picked up a bag of brown rice. I already had some rice here so I think this would definitely be enough to carry us through for 30 days. This is one of our favorite chips and this will go great with the salsa as well. My husband loves these. Everyone in my family loves these chips. And then over here we have a 30 day supply of ramen noodles. Now we have both kind. We have the cup of noodles where they're in the cup and you just add water. And then the little flat packaged noodles. Now these kind take up less space, but my family likes these better. They'll eat both. They absolutely love ramen noodles, but um, we had to take what we can get. The shelves were being cleared of ramen noodles very, very quickly. Then I picked up five dozen eggs and we go through about a dozen eggs per week, or sometimes a little more. So these do not expire until 420 of 2020 so that you know that will take us well into our 30 day um, stock up or stockpile I picked up two cases of water and honestly I don't know why there's a run on water um, I'm just not figuring out why aren't people just using the water that they have at home like we have a refrigerator that has a filter on it and a ice maker and you can get water from the refrigerator why not drink that water now I understand you may not have that type of refrigerator but it'll be cheaper to buy a gallon of water or a Brita or something like that but everyone's stocking up on the water the reason I did buy these two waters when we're not home we will use bottled water and my daughter she also takes bottled water in her lunches and since everyone was taking all the water I was not able to get water for her lunches so I wanted to stock up on that and now they canceled school for the next few weeks but these will last well past that and we'll use them I picked up two large um, packages of toilet paper and actually I have um, another one I picked up for my mom I'm going to drop that off to her house and we keep one this one will be in use because we needed toilet paper and then that's a backup one just in case you know for the next 30 days 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I need to reorganize my pantry so that I can make sure that all of this stuff fits. And leave a comment below and let me know what your experience has been throughout these past couple of weeks with the pandemic. Let me know if you guys are going to church or has your church implemented an online church strategy. What are you guys going to do if your kids are out of school and you have smaller kids and you still work? Share, you know, your... Uh, experiences so that we all can help each other out and until next time I'm going to keep calm and carry on bye guys